just a man by himself with a piece of fruit. I wonder if that. I wonder if there's such a thing. Where if like what if it was a super sexy lady and like somebody was like sponging off her stump? Like as soon as you got pubes? Yeah, as soon as my pubes popped out, I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Steve Dave. Hello and welcome to Tell him, Steve Dave, this week's edition. Quinn, hey. how are you? <laughs> Should I be buying into this? I don't know you want to. Oh, Give, it a try. Give it a try. I'm a good. And Paddy O'Flanagan, how are you, boy? Hello. Huh? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why are we in. doing this? We have uh, Irish guests coming in today. Right. And I had a... Um, you're going to be surprised at this, Walt. I started early. I was trying to um, put together this week's fine-tuned version of uh, of uh, rotten wieners and stinky clams who uh, who committed the crime, a guy or a girl. And I was going to do the all Irish edition, pitting two true Irishmen against uh, you and Walt. You got some Irish in you, but uh, yeah, my You're not my, from the homeland, right? My uh, my mother born in born Ireland. Italy. My mother's born in Italy. My father's side of the family is uh, from County Cork in Ireland. So, mm-hmm. but I think that goes back uh, two generations. I remember something about you saying that you could get a passport, like a dual citizenship. Uh, or- that, yeah, that window closed. Ireland oh, really? fucking tough, man, to get that. You got to really, you got to prove shit. They don't want to. They don't want any riffraff coming in. <clears throat> They've got enough. Yeah, they've got enough. They're exporting <laughs> riffraff in Ireland. <laughs> they don't want any coming in. We'll have to talk to our guests about that today. See if they're the riffraff type. Yeah. I was uh, reading up on Ireland, and there were. It seems that they commit a lot of petty crimes. Like, I want to ride that line with, with this new game between, like, ridiculous shit and, like, brutal um, criminal acts that, that aren't really all that fun to talk about. Like, how do you make a game about people being murdered with, you know. Right. Um, but there was, you know, like, I looked on Wikipedia, you know, for female, uh, for murderesses, and there was one. Whereas in America, there were 124 worth mentioning. Well, it's, the United States is a lot bigger than Ireland. Yeah, but one. So the the biggest crimes there were like five crimes since 1950 that were worth mentioning, just in general. Yeah, you drink over there, you just relax. Is that what it is? It's a lot of broken bar stools <laughs> and shit. And... We don't drink in America. <laughs> Not as much as Ireland. You think you think that it, it it's a stereotype? Is it is it true? Why not? Is that the Irish in you when you're out there drinking? Look at this. Look at the look on his face. You've been drinking. That's why you got those sunglasses on. <laughs> I got my Irish up, as they say. Um, I knew a girl I was supposed to, she eventually had a kid and got married, so I don't think she's up for it anymore, but years ago we were going to, she lives in, uh, right outside of Boston, and she wanted to uh, go to a bar in Southie and get up a, a good old Irish bar fight, do some drinking, and then... Well, that was the plan? She was like, this was is the what plan, we do yeah. tonight? Mm-hmm. Well, this is going back a ways, this is back, going back some time. Hmm. So I went through that stretch where I wanted to, like, I prayed somebody would just shoot me. Like, I wanted to get shot in the leg to see how it would feel. And I figured a bar fight. Like, I've never been in a bar fight. Uh, you've been in plenty. You've been in enough for all of us. Yeah, I've been in a few. Bar fight, Walt? Never. Uh, I've only really been, like, four bars my whole life. Mm-hmm. No I'd like to get into one like one of those old, like not a Staten Island bar fight where there's fucking hair gel flying everywhere and shit like that. I, yeah. w- I would want to get into like a, like an old Western type bar fight. Yeah, I got it. Where like one. somebody says something to Walt and I'm like, what? And then like their friend breaks a chair on my back and mm-hmm. I go down and then Walt fucking throws a punch and the guy moves and then hits the wrong guy. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and then they start fighting and somebody's and the got to move his head off the wall. Yeah. And then, <laughs> then the yeah. band just keeps playing and shit. The the bar band for that night. Uh, I got into a bar fight in Calico Jackson. I don't even know if it's still there anymore on the Upper East Side. 
where somebody was stomping my arm so hard uh, they split the skin. I remember that. Uh, you, you were still working at the store. I mean, at the uh, website at that time, right? Possibly. Yeah, yeah. And you, I remember you came in. and You were like, you didn't even have a sling though. You're just. It was like a dead arm, <laughs> like you were paralyzed or something. Yeah, and I got hit with a bar stool in that fight. Yeah, my friend Jill heard a window got broken in, in the face and broke his nose. Like Oof. he had to have a nose job after that because it like fucked up Her father? his breathing. Yeah. yeah, he used to be like one of those um, dudes. But Walt knows Walt knows him. He's met him, and like he uh, is not a small guy. And I guess when he was young, he was one of those dudes that were like, "Hey, there's Coast Guard guys in the bar. Let's beat them up." <laughs> like that was enough of a reason. That's it. And uh, yeah, he would get into bar fights all the time. Shit like that. Are we missing something, me and Walt? Having never been in a bar fight? I I, I don't think so anymore. I, I find every experience I've had in my life I can barely remember anyway. Yeah. So, so the, I, honestly, there's no difference between me saying I've been into a bar fight and me saying I've been to the moon. To me, they both feel the same. Like they happen, it happened so long ago. Yeah, they happen to someone else. Just stay in the now. All right. Although I, I, I well, so you're saying hit Walt with one of these chairs. Yeah, slam, <laughs> slam one of the uh, cushioned uh, chairs here. Um, I mean, there is something to knowing you can take a punch. I've always felt that's pretty important. Mm-hmm. Like once you once you've gotten hit, hey, once you've gotten the shit kicked out of you, you know, doesn't really scare you. Look, can't everybody take a punch? No, some people just fold like bitches. Well, well I think, I think you're, mean, you're saying I mean, you can take a punch, but you might not take it well. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> everybody, I mean, anybody can get punched. It's not. Uh, I mean, how is that a punch? Uh, I mean, I, I I know a guy I went to high school with got into a fight in a parking lot with someone, hit this kid once and broke his neck, killed him. That guy couldn't take a punch. I think it was just. I it was probably, it was the, probably the angle or the. Yeah. Uh, he probably didn't Could take a your punch. Did he have to get his hands registered as lethal weapons? No, he, no. He went on to, to play for the NFL for a little bit. You just imagine what? the fucking... He killed somebody and was able to go out and he didn't have to go to jail? Dude, people kill... No. They're already in the was, NFL, uh, kill people and stay in and play, right? Right, yeah, it's true. Involuntary right. manslaughter. He didn't mean to kill him. So what? So he, he meant to hurt him. But he didn't go to jail? No, he didn't even go to jail. Because nah. we know a guy... Walt and I, a guy who we went to school with, he uh, a couple of years ago, he was outside a bar, and there was some sort of uh, some sort of argument, and uh, the one guy pushed the the guy me and Walt aren't really friends with pushed the guy that we knew, the guy the guy we knew fell back, hit his head, and died, and then that dude went on the run. I guess he didn't want to get in trouble for it, and he went to jail. Yeah, probably maybe he went because on the of run. the flight. Hmm. Yeah, I know that he, this kid turned himself into the cops right away and was like. We got into a fight. Like I would, didn't mean to kill the kid. You know what I mean? Well, I, I, feel think, I don't see how that's a. I don't see how that's an. Excuse, well, because I don't. Because he didn't. Well, did the other the guy kid. start it? Yeah, like I think it was. It was like an. It was they were Self-defense? both. Self defense. I mean, they one of them. They got into a fight. I don't think it was. It wasn't like he was harassing the kid and picking on the kid or anything like mm-hmm. that. They got into a, a what would have been an equal fight. If, they had a good lawyer. Sure. And a good punch. So I imagine being there for what precipitated that fight. That fucking like, oh, why are you looking at my girl? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, you're dead. That's why it's so not worth it. Like you, I always think like of people that I know that like I know can destroy other people. All right. And like when you, you're driving and you get mad, you start yelling at somebody. It's like it could always be that guy. That yeah. guy that you don't know has like fucking seven black belts fucking tucked in his back pocket. And but worse than that, he just does not give a fuck. Right, he doesn't care. Right, as long he's as had a worse day than you have. That's it. <laughs> Life. Like as angry as you are, that guy does not give a fuck. He's right. like, I'll kill you. And he's gotten into more than two fights in his life. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's not worth it anymore. I saw a guy one day. He was. Uh, I pulled out and I didn't. I don't didn't think I cut him off, but he was going so fast that I guess it ended up I did cut him off. And he uh, gives me the finger. And I give him the finger back, and he just, like, you could tell he's, like, looking at me, and he's, like, beckoning me, like, come on, pull over. Like, let's fight. He's driving a truck that looks like, um, what's that movie, uh, Jeepers Creepers? Like, remember the Creepers truck he's driving around? <laughs> like, that's what his <laughs> That's fucking... supernatural, like, old school. Like, mm-hmm. uh. Yeah, it's like, Wah! Like, that's what it looked like, and, you know, I was... Not that I would have pulled over anyway, but I was going left, he's going right, and then it was one of those things where it's like, he... Like, there's smoke pouring out of it. It looks like the creeper's driving. I'm like, this is definitely, like, uh, he probably would have just destroyed me. Uh, he probably would have just beaten me to death. Um, that could go for a lot of people. I'd probably be out of, out of like, i throw two punches. I'd be like, <laughs> you know, like. You got to stop this. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be in my corner sitting down fucking getting my, my brow mopped. <laughs> 
Come on, Rock! Suzanne would be saying. <laughs> yeah. At least that's the way I hear it. Nothing to say about that, Walt? No, I'm, You're a, little, all your I'm fu- a little under the weather. I was going to say, you don't seem uh, energetic. You don't seem yourself here, right? Yeah, no, I don't feel good. You caught me. something in the woods? You went for a walk in the woods yesterday. No, I think I went, I went to that concert last night. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Did you dress up? No. You so I, got in, up? I did get into the concert revelries. And Get- I, uh, somebody was passing around some fucking pills. And I, <laughs> I don't feel good now. Not even a joint or like a beer. It's like, I'll take this. <laughs> I shouldn't have had that second handful of pills. So. <laughs> like, get home, they're stuck to your lips. They're all dried out and shit. I really, no, I, I didn't, of course, I didn't take no pills. But um, I really don't feel good, though. From the concert, you think? No, no, it's not oh. from the concert. Oh, just it's in just general. in general. I just got to, like, some, like a, my head's really cloudy. If I can smell that stinky hot dog I had the other day. <laughs> but yeah, so never actually went and got into the bar fight, and then she had a kid. And you know what? She strikes me as a kind of gal that probably still would. Still? Yeah. Nah. They didn't have that. They didn't have that experience growing up. Like some people, especially like the, the Irish, they like to fight, right? Isn't that one of the? the yeah, but like you like about family them? and each other and shit. They like, that. like to beat each other up. Yeah, that's oh, that's saying. definitely the Irish coming out then when I was younger with Edgar, right? Yeah, that's how we raise you. Irish style. Mm-hmm. Bring fists to the table. Let's see. Irish stereotypes. Hmm. They got treated pretty shittily, too. The Irish? Irish. Yeah, like when they first came over and stuff. Oh, yeah. Have you ever felt uh, discriminated against you because you're Irish? Um, no, I've been called an a, a Irish donkey a few times. At work. <laughs> Today. <laughs> Coming Walt. in here. <laughs> Keep it down, you Irish donkey. Uh, other was it an Ellis uh, Cooper concert? How was it? How was the concert? Did you like it? It was good. Yeah? Yeah. Did you get to sit down the whole time? Yep. Sweet. Yeah, we were up in the upper balcony, me and Sunday Jeff, and... Uh, With those... And when the, when the, like, the uh, concert started, like the, like, the curtain came down, mm-hmm. uh, we looked down at the crowd that were sat down on the floor, like the... And um, they were all standing up. We just looked at each other and smiled. Congratulated yeah. yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we just looked at each other because we couldn't talk to each other because it's so loud. But we looked at each other with that knowing look like, yeah, we fucking up here is where it's at. We're geniuses. <laughs> 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 what do you think, Martha? It's pretty sweet up here, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Irish, you know the drinking, obviously. Hardworking. That's the Irish of Walt coming out. Temper. Bad temper. Alcoholics, devout Catholics, potato eaters, hmm. tons of kids, spud eating cocks. Yeah, I knew an Irish family. Walt, you did too in school. They had like thirteen kids in the family. That's too many. That's a lot of kids. It's putting a lot of stress on a mom. If um, uh, you mean physically, like yeah. that womb getting stretched out, kids bouncing around in there yeah, for tough. like thirteen straight years. Can you imagine me like that? What's that? The Duggar, Duggar family? Is, is that the one that has like fucking 20 kids? Like, what is it like to, um, that they're the Mormons, right? The Duggar family? I mean, she's probably pregnant for, if she has 13 kids. I mean, she's probably pregnant for like six, six almost nine years of her, of her, uh, of her, of her life. Yeah, like, here you go. This Duggar family, 19 kids and counting. So, yeah, it's like you get pregnant. You have nine months gestation. What do you take? Two months off? Three months off? And then you're pregnant again? Like, what the fuck is that like for two decades? (laughs) Sounds gross. Being pregnant. I always thought that would feel, I mean, I know it's supposed to be natural and all that. I always felt that would be weird, though, having, like, a little person grown inside you. (laughs) Like, that's, that's so fucking strange, isn't it? Yeah. That's why they didn't do it to males. I, I couldn't get my head around it. I'd be like, there's this little motherfucker in me. <laughs> like you're like, throwing yourself down a stair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just such an odd concept that, yeah, females don't, it doesn't seem to really bug them all that much. That's like the, Suzanne's that's fucking. Motherly instincts kicking in. Yeah, Suzanne bugs me to have a kid all the time. Then when Walt brought the puppy over the other day, now it's a puppy. <laughs> I'm hoping that he'll bring over some sort of an inanimate object, like a TV or something. And eventually we can get down to that. Nice 56-inch television. Mm-hmm. Want to talk about the Manchester show? Yeah, start promoting this thing, dude. 
We got to promote the Manchester show. Yes. Okay. If you could do a show, like let's say, Walt, um, there was a way that you didn't have to fly. They figured out how to. Would you be more or less afraid of um, teleportation? Um, well, if there was if there was an accident rate. Sure, it's the same. It's the same accident rate as yeah, like it's the same as with an airplane. Like every ten millionth person is like brundle flying shit. It's the same. It's the same. You still wouldn't do it? Yeah, I I don't need to go anywhere. I don't need to go anywhere. I got all I need. You don't need to, but you you don't have any interest, huh? No interest in seeing other lands, other stuff on TV. Hmm. You can. And go right to bed in my own bed. It's over. <laughs> okay, so let's say tell <laughs> that I agree with. I'm not crazy about sleeping in other places, like especially if it's just an overnight trip. They got uh, bed I, bugs in London, Q. Uh, they better yeah, not. Yeah, Quinn. Sure they do. <laughs> bed bugs. <laughs> Wait, do you see the There's place? I got, on us, me. I got us hooked up for in Manchester, dude. <laughs> yeah. Two bedroom apartment. I got um. What? Really? We're in an apartment? Yeah, that's how they do hotels over there. Wow, look at us. I stayed there when I was there. Uh, is it fancy? It is fucking nice. You're going to like it. You're not going to want to leave. You're going to fucking declare I'm going to call Walter and be like, you got to. I don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Quinn coming at three in the morning. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, ha. <laughs> I go, oh, no. Check it out. My sneakers. I know, skeletons. No, no, no. <laughs> Staten Island Nikes. <laughs> Feast your eyes. That's right. <laughs> That's right, bitch. Will it be ready for a show that Friday night? Will there be any sort of jet lag? Uh, well, the jet lag works in our favor. They're oh, five hours ahead of us. So okay. we'll be fucking fresh as a daisy. Be overly rested. Yeah. Uh, okay, say there was 0% chance of any uh, problems with teleportation, right? So you get right. teleported somewhere to do a show. There's never been an instance where something went wrong? No. Never. It's 100%, 100% guaranteed. guaranteed that the just, like when you, 100%. just like when you drive your car here. Nothing's ever well, going to happen. Uh, uh, <laughs> but the, Why do you think that doesn't bug you? Because you're in control, right? Yeah, I feel like you have control over what's going on in front of you. Not the fucking idiot who's texting and it's just like, holy shit, I'm about to hit this motherfucker. (laughs) (laughs) That's the scary thing, yeah. Um, Well, yeah, if there was 100% and it was like, it was was feasible, like affordable. Mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, I might go to other places, but I got to tell you, I'm not not big on, I don't, uh, yeah, you know, there's there's something inside me that that says, Stay put. I, yeah, there's nothing. There's not, I don't need to see anything. No wanderlust, huh? No. I think I was a nomad in a former life. I like to wander around. One of the best trips I took was by myself when I went on that motorcycle trip. It was like a 6,000 mile round trip. And I did shit that I thought like, like I would never really normally do. Like, um, when I was outside, uh, you know, a lot of gay sex. <laughs> I could see it coming. Yeah. Of course, I blew a ton of guys. <laughs> Can't do this in your bedroom, Flanagan. <laughs> um, I, uh, stayed at like a little motel right outside of Yellowstone. And somebody came not, it wasn't like a, Days in her chain. It was like a real little family owned one. And mm. somebody came by and knocked on the door and they said, What do you, it was a guy who checked me in. He said, What are you doing tonight? And I was like, Blowing you, I assume. <laughs> uh, no, I said, Nothing. Why? Because it's so unfamiliar, you know? Uh, and uh, he said, We're having uh, tacos tonight if you want to come over. We've got some friends coming over. So he invited me over there and I went over and had tacos like with weird uh, taco when he lifted his skirt. Right. I was like, Hmm. <laughs> Sir, ma'am, um, you're saying I have to eat never this? See that. Is that a taco that, that, like, that uh, in excess is eaten in that old video from the 80s when he puts it on the table? It's the one thing, and it's like this. We- that was to me, it was like maybe the first time I ever saw a pussy on TV, but it really wasn't even a pussy. <laughs> Do you ever remember that video? No. It's the well, one let me see. Thing. What is it? It's, it's an excess It's the wrong video. thing? No, it's the, one, it's the one thing. You want my thing. And he put down this piece of fruit, and there was no doubt about it. It was a pussy. An excess. It was supposed to look like a pussy. Fruit? Like yeah. Some sort and it, of like it was shocking star fruit. for me to see it on TV. Even though it was still a piece of fruit, it still turned me on. <laughs> still, Oh, really? Still got you going, huh? Well, back then. It wouldn't now. Nah. Does that bug you? <laughs> yeah, the things that turned me on when I was 12 don't excite me anymore. <laughs> Your wife fucking puts a piece of fruit on the table. And just like, <laughs> Go to bed, kids. Yeah. Go to bed, girls. And he's like, ooh, no, you too. <laughs> I'm gonna, okay, here it is. It's, it looks like a couple, looks like a pear or something. Oh, they're cutting it? 
But at the end of yeah. the video, she puts it on the table. She, yeah, that's it. Oh, she's eating it all she seductively it, too. She puts it down, and it looks just like, you know, at the very end, it looks uh, just like a little. Yeah. Yeah. What is that thing? It looks like a tiny little watermelon. <laughs> huh. What's the name of the song? So people at home could. It's that's the one thing, or it's the one. It's thing? It's the one thing. It's the one thing. Yeah. Let me try to skip to the the end, Walt, where we can see her. She just lays it on a table like she lays it as if it was. Well, see the way she holds it. <laughs> well, he's crawling all over he's the got table. Two fingers in it? No, like she just puts it down so gently. No, there she goes. <laughs> did you see it? Yeah, did you see it's it? It's all oh, red no, me... and lippy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> I can't get this. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, it has some fucking puffy lips on it. Let me see. Okay, so here's the. Look at the way she's right. going on. Okay, so there right. she goes. Oh, she puts it down. That was, that was Young Walt's like. <laughs> <laughs> I wow. fucking baited that over and over again. <laughs> baited. <laughs> um, wow. I wonder if like um like like would what if your mom knows like that's why you're watching it. Like Pam knows I I don't remember that. That's fucking great that you pulled that out from your <sighs> from your memory banks from that long ago, but like would it be disturbing to Pam like a young Brian Johnson discovering his sexuality? <laughs> Well, I think that's where they got like apple dry pie. Right? The TV. Like American Pie. Well, he actually fucked it. Right. I bet you they. I bet you that was inspired by that video. Think so? Yeah. Or it's, maybe there's a history of people I think who that's are a turned fig. on by fruit. Oh, that would be good for your game, right? Your fucking what was something sexy? It wasn't even uh, your game. Do I? What, what was the name of that game? Do I make you horny? Yeah. Or are you? Horny? Are you horny? Are you horny? Yeah. <laughs> um. Let me see right now if there's any sort of philia. Right. Fruitophilia. Yeah. Um, stock, livestock. No, wait a minute. That, livestock's <laughs> animals, right? Yeah. We know there's that. Sexually turned. <laughs> That's a given. On, but now food and fruit, I'm going to say, are different, right? Well, people, no, but people like to like eat while they're doing it, though. I don't. You like that? Yeah, me neither. I've never been the type to be like, and, um, you know, like put like chocolate on. Right. Yeah, it's like big like syrups and yeah. shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. We're not talking weeks, about like. Uh, tossing your salad, right? Like syrup or jelly. Um, but I'm talking oh, about wow, here's just, all sorts of feelings. Just a man by himself with a piece of fruit. I wonder if that. I wonder if there's such a thing. Oh, oh fuck yeah! Like you drill a hole in the side of a melon. Fuck it. Put it in the microwave for like thirty it's seconds. Be the most, it's got to be one of the <laughs> scorch your fucking <laughs> penis right off. I would imagine it's one of the more healthier ones, though. It's not so bad, right? Because here's a couple I'm looking at. Here's like a whole bunch of... It's a list of philias. Like what you're attracted to. Uh, attracted to people with impaired mobility. People with amputations. Um, attraction by young men to older women. This is the weird one. Having an amputation. Like, what happened in there? Like, I remember... I, I've told this story on the show before. But I remember t um, when Pam worked at the uh, nursing home. And walking by and seeing some fucking old bag, like being like, you know, and like her leg was cut off, like right above the knee, and I saw mm. the stump. Now that leg like, maybe turned me the other way. Hot the boner? No, no, it turned. <laughs> no, it turned me the other way. You know, where I'm like, oh god, that's hideous. Yeah. Well, where if like, what if it was a super sexy lady and like somebody was like sponging off her stump, and she like <laughs> fucking beckoned me over to fucking help out, yeah. the young six year old bry. Being robbed or held up? <laughs> how do you get that? Like, how are you just like, somebody points a gun at you to rob you and you're like, boing, 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 boing. The danger. The danger? It's just the danger? Is that like how, how some girls have like a rape fantasy? It's like a rob, a robbing It's funny, fantasy? like I saw that on this list and I was just like, you know what, we've been talking about rape the past yeah. fucking four weeks, I'm going to let that one go. Thank you. <laughs> well, why, why is that not a valid? Well, wait a second, uh, I think I have chronophilia, partners of a widely differing chronological age. Vomit, Walt. Trees. How do you get excited by a tree? I wish I did. Rubber tree? Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, you know how easy it would be to get laid if you uh, all wanted to fuck trees all day? That'd be amazing. Oh, God. Just go for a jog and just fucking get laid. Come Man, on. Yeah, like halfway through your jog. You're like, you know what? I want to fucking have to go for a jog. get my groove on. Because you walk right out the house. Yeah, you would never have to You could, um, get some trees in your house, Walt. Yeah. This comes old barky balls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cars or other machines. Did you, did you see um, <laughs> obscene words 
noses. Did you ever see that lady who married the roller coaster? What? Hold on, I'll find it for you. That was one of those things where I'm like, if she's not doing it for attention, she should be locked up. I saw this on some, um, that's the UK. They're up to all sorts of fucking oh, yeah, so weird no shit way over there. That would be legal in America. To get married to a roller coaster? Uh, Quinn, if you had to, would you marry rather uh, marry a roller coaster or another dude? Which is more, which is, which is easier to explain to to the family? Uh, I don't know which one's easier to bring home. Roller coaster. I think it's charge coaster. people to ride it. Sure, I'll make some money off it. Oh no, Walt, it was American. Really? So I Would married you want a roller other guys coaster. Guys riding your girl, your roller coaster. Yeah, oh, yeah. Do you get jealous? Yeah. I mean, I think if you're in love a with a roller car. coaster, you're kind of. <laughs> Are you in love with just the car or the whole fucking thing, like the whole structure? I'd say the structure is the best part of it. If I'm, if I'm looking at it. But it's not like lo- like she doesn't love riding it. She loves it. Let me read it to you. It's pretty quick. <laughs> American teenager Amy Wolf suffers from objectum sexuality, a bizarre condition where humans become attracted, both sexually and emotionally, to inanimate objects. And the one she picked was in... Do you pick, do you think? or? Um, you no, pick what it's like love real with? love, bro. You can't... Heart wants what the heart wants. Uh, is an 80-foot... High gondola ride called 100, 1001 knots, knocks, like crystal knocked, like, I guess it's German for night, it looks like, maybe. She rides her lover 300 times a year and has pictures of him all over her bedroom. The staff of the theme park regularly lets her in to see her partner who lives 80 miles away from where she does. Long distance relationships are a bitch, no? <laughs> um, if nothing else, like you go through life, you raise your kid, you know, maybe they get into, maybe they're a Bry Johnson. Maybe they're a Walt Flanagan. Maybe they're somewhere in between. But to have a girl, a daughter who's like, I'm going to marry a roller coaster. Do they have a picture of her? Hold on. Because a lot might be Because I'm, yeah, I'm guessing that she doesn't look like Giselle Boonchen. All right. There's worse she, things. Worse things than her being, whoa. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to say anything, but uh, at first... Gl- <laughs> oh, you just said, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I, at first glance, I would have thought that I pulled up the wrong picture. Oh, Because it doesn't God. really look like a female. That looks like somebody's fat 12-year-old son. Uh, It does. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I'm sure the roller coaster is like, come on. Um, <laughs> Can I get a hot chicken? In love with the roller coaster, Q, or um, addicted to cocaine? Me? Your daughter? No, your daughter's twenty. Which would you rather hear? Um, guess in love with the roller coaster. Really? Yeah, because roller coaster and her could break up, and then she can move yeah, on. To, like, I'm thinking dude. it's probably harder though to get like cocaine addiction, get her into rehab. Maybe can change it her life for the better. If you're in love with a roller coaster, I think it's probably very difficult to. <sighs> she says she tells them how much she misses him and what's been she's been up to since her last visit. And I kiss the bits I can reach. The staff are really understanding. She I says she has a great love sex like Dracula's life. Dracula's castle. Me? Yeah, you, had little, you had that little bit of fucking Dracula soil. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Oh, See, that would be cool. Wouldn't you like to do that if we could go to Dracula's castle, like just as a uh, like a tourist type thing? I've been to Dracula's castle. Uh, I'm not talking about Wildwood. <laughs> <laughs> it's better probably there. Uh, Wildwood? Yeah. Yeah, I'll bet you it's... I bet you, I bet you there's nobody dressed up as Dracula at Dracula's castle. No, there's somebody being like... I don't know, do you think it's a tourist destination or somebody lives there? No, I think it's a tourist destination. But I bet you they don't play it up like they should with like people dressed up in costumes. <laughs> you could throw firecrackers at it. They, like should have, like, they should have the spikes with people like we you know with fake bodies on the spikes. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, they yeah. should really play it up. Oh, like, like that one um, in uh, Francis Ford Coppola's version where yeah. there's tons of people. Yeah, yeah they should do it like cool. that, man. Fill like, the moats full of blood and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Fake blood. Make some cash. Mm-hmm. Is there actually a Dracula's castle? Yeah, I think so, right? Yeah. It's uh, Vlad the Impalus? Yeah. He used to fucking cool out there. What? He used to cool out there. <laughs> cool out. <laughs> cool out. Uh, by, like killing people. The um, the lady, the girl says we can His never enemies. have right sex where he lives You're because right. it's public and it would be people who deserved it. Well, his enemies. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. 
Dracula's you can dead. look up the Dracula thing. I'm going to talk about more Felias here. Uh, dressing like a child. It's got to be so tough, like, if you have that. Like, to find the person who's like, all right. Nah, the internet, bro. Dress up like, yeah, I guess so. But I mean, a lasting relationship? Ah, uh, come on. Fire? Into fire? Mm. About that. Feet, buttocks, fire. Brand Inflicting castle. pain on others. Sadism, of course. We all know that. Non-living objects. Sleeping or unconscious people. I saw this. It was, I was, I don't know if I ever mentioned it before, but the best website name ever, um, uh, sleepcreep.com. <laughs> and it's like, I mean, it's obviously fake, I think, anyway. Um, where like a guy's like, you know, creeping up on her while she's sleeping. And right. of course does everything in the book to the girl, but doesn't wake up. No, she's the heaviest sleeper ever, you know. Um, huh. and it looks too polished to be like a true sleep creep who fucking gave her some sort of weird <laughs> drugs, you know, but I, I love the name of that website. I thought that was so funny. That's what I was calling Sunday Jeff when I was feeling weird last night after the concert. <laughs> 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 he has you back in the car. <laughs> creeping while you're sleeping. Yeah, yeah, creeping around. Yeah. Um, hair. Like, Ow, I'm not that heavy a sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> Cuckoldism. You. Watching one's partner have sex with someone else, possibly without the third party's knowledge. What is cuckoldism? Trollism. Well, cuckoldism is like, like if you're a true cuckold, it's like you like to get um, uh, humiliated and debased. Mm. You know, like a lot of times, uh, like websites, it'll be like you're some fucking meek white guy, and there's like fucking five brothers piling on your lip, uh, just right. fucking. Destroying her poontang. And she's like, This is what you couldn't give. Right, yeah. She's yeah. like, Sorry, Brian. I mean, me <laughs> husband. <laughs> um, that wouldn't be all that fun, I don't think. I remember we learned the uh, the word for uh, a woman, a guy who cuckolds her. His wife is a cuck queen. She's a cuck queen. She's a cuck queen. We learned, yeah. Which right. isn't as fun to say. Nah, cuckold's sort of fun. Cuckold is like, I, I cuckolded that, that motherfucker. Really? Yeah. Huh. It's fun to use. Like, I yeah. wish I knew when I was young. Like, look at this cuckold. 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 Yeah, that cuckold. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about, though. It's yeah. not fun, could it be? No one knows what you're talking. <laughs> well, about. I would have told you. I mean, you would have been like, ha ha. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kevin, this is so fucking ridiculous. I remember uh, we were at a fair back in. I mean, I had to be no older than twenty, I guess, and Kev was eighteen. And uh, Ed, we used to hang out with Ed a lot too, and we started. <laughs> We started calling ourselves <laughs> it's so ridiculous we started calling ourselves it's this kind of thing I would be infuriated with if somebody did it right. to me we started calling ourselves the ministers of truth and we would go around and if we found out somebody was cheating on another person we would approach them as all three of us as the ministers of truth and fucking re, like tell them like in a sort of like old English royal type way what the fuck that they wrong were, with you guys <laughs> <laughs> that they were being cheated I know isn't it that's what I think back and I'm like what fucking idiots we were <laughs> and like if somebody had done that to me I would have been like they fucking said what the, min the ministers of truth <laughs> yeah. fucking it wouldn't even warts. bother you that, you that your girlfriend was cheating on you it would bother you it, it would become <laughs> secondary <laughs> yeah right? I think these three morons and then we wonder why no one wants to invite us to their parties over that summer the, minis the ministers of truth the ministers of truth, yeah. I think we did it. You guys, you guys, um, <laughs> definitely, um, um, my meeting my wife at that point was a fucking, was a godsend. Was, was, no, was, was, was very hurtful to you guys at that point because I could have been there at least to tell you guys, you guys are fucking morons. <laughs> oh, you mean, yeah. <laughs> well, well, how would you do We it, fell like? apart. The gang fell apart when Walt found love, man. He went from fucking that fruit to like his fucking woman and, like things just went downhill for us. Ministers of Truth. <laughs> <laughs> well, bring me out a little, bust me off some Minister of Truth action. Uh, we went up to the the one thing I recall quite vividly was going. I'm not going to mention their names now, but going up and um, telling uh, the guy, some guy, that his girlfriend was cheating. No, I'm sorry, telling the girl that the guy was cheating on her. All right. And her face was like, "What?" <laughs> and you like, understood ye old English? Yeah, but uh, like, what was the accent? Um, oh, no, we were just like, it wasn't like we spoke like with accents or anything, uh, but it would just be like real like 
I mean, ham handed, like, let it be known that, uh, so and so has been stepping out and cheating on you. And she's, they're like, what? <laughs> you eventually break it down. It's what like, so and so's been cheating on you. And that was the guy who threw, who threw us out of the party that summer that was like, scumbags, leave. Like me, Ed and Kev are standing outside his house. Oh, it sounds and, like you had a right to. Sure. Yeah. yeah, he did. At the time um, where you guys like, I don't know why we're not allowed to go to this party. With the I mean, I don't know that he, I mean, we, I guess we assume that he didn't know that we had administered that particular truth. <laughs> 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 you want to, you want to resurrect, get the old gang back together, Walt? <laughs> I could join in with us. <laughs> we go wear like white wigs and shit and who, wow. <laughs> what would you have done do you think at that age like you uh you cheat on your girlfriend right and she's like <laughs> fucking ministry she's like these guys that you know kind of like uh came up to me what do you mean what they say well first they said they were the ministers of truth right which i guess means that they're just going around telling people shit they heard which uh -huh. may or may not have been truth it's not like we fact checked or anything <laughs> Somebody told us, so we just went and told them. <laughs> oh my god! I'd be like, I'd just be like, honey, this is what you're listening to. These three, mm -hmm. <laughs> look at them, these idiots. <laughs> They're walking around proclaiming shit. We were also. It would be so easy to do today, but at the time, we wanted to start. Um, not Ed, but me and Kevin wanted to start a scandal sheet in town, where we were going to just print up stuff that like fake shit, and just go to like cats, for example, and slip it into like newspapers, like this. <laughs> This little, uh, this little gossip rag that we were gonna just make stuff up and put it into. The <laughs> Where does it come from? This is boredom. boredom. Yeah, probably just bored. Muck around. I thought they were so clever. That's yeah. the thing that they're sitting around going like, we'll do congratulating this. ourselves. Yeah. yeah they're uh, fucking hit. Their backs and their hands were so heavy from patting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want? You want? You want to involve Walt? Yeah. <laughs> He'll shut it down. I know. He'll fucking shut it down. Remember the ministers of truth before he got to it. <laughs> I think it was probably that was an offshoot of the ministers of truth because uh, it was hard to watch people's faces as you're like, hey, remember that person you thought loved you? <laughs> <laughs> We're about to tell you in the most fucking ridiculous <laughs> way that that is not the case. Well, that's the thing. It, it's it's was it. No, at no point were you guys like we're, we're really hurting people, or ruining. I mean, I, it did. It's not like it lasted for years. I think we. I I remember one definite, and then I think we did it two or three more times, and then. Right. <laughs> but I mean, we did heinous shit sometimes. Like Kevin and I would make phone calls, uh, prank phone calls, and just make shit up. Like I remember one time. <laughs> One time Kev called a church, um, a wedding that had just taken place and he talks to the, the priest or reverend or whatever. And he's like, uh, I was at that wedding and I saw, um, the bride taking money out of the poor pots. <laughs> <laughs> but a priest doesn't believe me. Right? I, don't know. I mean, I don't know. I would hope not. I mean, I really hope not. I feel the priest is like, a lot of times we would just like we would see things in the classifieds. Like I remember one time somebody was selling a keyboard for like twenty five bucks, and I called and offered five. Like we would just offer insulting prices and then argue with people when they wouldn't accept them. <laughs> That's when we were at the rack. That's when we were supposed to be working. <laughs> he wonders why he has no skills now to get a like, job. No. <laughs> I mean, really, it was all training for this shit, <laughs> just so I could. Sounds have a like fucking... cold call cuss out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank um, God Suzanne suffers from teratophilia, an attraction to deformed or monstrous people. <laughs> <laughs> Inner monster or outer monster? I don't know. I'd have to ask her. Inner monster, I guess. I have to hand it to her, man. Fucking as disgusting as I look, I saw a picture. Our Irish guests, I'm gonna, I'll show them. Um, I'll show her when she comes in. Uh, a, a picture of... Um, that I took when when they were here last. Irish gals, the uh, the Irish gal, yeah, and I guess I think it's her friend. I'm pretty sure it's her friend. But um, like here here's the picture of us. Okay. And like first off, like I'm so wide that like I I'm wider than the both of them. But then, like, my arms are up, so, like, my shirt is up a little and my fucking gut's hanging out. But look at her body language compared to the other guy. Sure, her it's process. like I'm fucking radioactive, the way she's t like, has her arm next to me and she's, like, leaning away. <laughs> this is a girl that's coming here today? Yeah. 
I'm going to demand answers. Yeah, let's get to the bottom of this. Mm-hmm. Is that guy coming with her? She's like, I'm a minister of truth, you fucking <laughs> fat bastard. You fucking smell all fucked up. You were wet because you won't stop sweating. <laughs> Sweatophilia. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, you look like you're wearing the same shirt. You got the same gray shorts on? Dude, I wear the fucking... Are they this, these shorts? Yeah. Yeah. I've got one fucking outfit that fits me anymore. <laughs> Oh, that is it, dude. Yeah. You are dressed exactly the same. I'm like Einstein. He wore the same clothes all the time, right? So he didn't have to waste time picking out clothing. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Don't want to kill any brain cells. No, nah, man. The, the no. Yeah, it's the exact outfit. I'm like, remember this picture? She's like, did we take this minutes ago? Or? <laughs> Let's see if she's wearing the same outfit. Uh, oh, you know what? I got a request to trim my uh, Somehow, I don't think she will be. A uh, request to trim my beard. From who? Chick. Only one chick matters, bro. Very little chick. Oh, Sage? Mm hmm. Really? Yeah. Cause like when we lay down at night, when she sleeps over and like we lay down, like I always lay down with her till she falls asleep. Right. And, uh, she requested that I, I trim it. You trim it? it? Yeah. I was like, she, cause she keeps like pushing it away from her face. Right. And she's like, she doesn't say like, hey, can you cut your beard? But I said, is this bothering you? And she goes, yes. I said, she has like a little lisp now. Yeah. I said, do you want me to cut it? And she goes, yes. You gonna cut it? <laughs> Fuck no. Uh, I'll trim it. Trim it. I can't cut all the way up. What, it to what, what do I yeah. got? Well, they said that if we do the show, which every day that passes seems less and less likely, the mm. uh, reality mm. show, that um, this would muffle the, the, the mic. Yeah. Right. But what about like Whisker Wars? They don't tell those guys to fucking cut their beard. Right away. That's little things. Like if we can get him to cut his beard, his fucking source of strength and identity. That's right. <laughs> well, fucking, he's broken already. Like a fucking dog. <laughs> I saw a picture of us uh, the other day, Key West, the last time we went, without, when you had the long hair but not the beard. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was... It was uh, I remember thinking I was fat at 215 pounds. Yeah. I would kill to be 215 pounds now. You can get there. I'll kill you. You can. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, this is what I was trying to say um, to you last week when you fucking turned on me like a rabid dog. I said we have the... Uh, you know, we have we have uh, things coming up. We have the show in England. We have the when show in turn? Red Bank. Yeah, did I turn it? When did I, I turn on you today? No, last week. When did you uh, turn on last week? Did I turn on you? When I said, well, I said, we, I got, you got goals coming up. I go, you could lose weight. You got you got the show in England. It was like, oh, here we go, talking about the show in England. Here we go, <laughs> fucking talk about this. But it's just like, asshole, it's your fucking show. Like, Yeah. Well, that's, that's true. What I'm saying, if you set like guidelines, I think I do. I think I'm gonna start um, making like a to-do list, like a daily checklist of things, because otherwise my my day is so do you have unformed. ADD? Huh? Yeah. Do you have ADD? Yeah. That's why this medicine that I had to. That's why I was a half hour late today okay. picking up medicine that uh, for for that particular. You can cure um, that. You can't cure it. You can manage it though. That I find that. Um, uh, the, since I started taking the Adderall, if I take it on a, with on a regular schedule, it, it works pretty well. Uh, when I was out in LA, I went to uh, a shrink out there, and he was giving me stuff for depression. And he asked me, he said, "Have you ever um, been tested for ADD?" What was the test? Like? And um, uh, is it a blood test, or is it like a, like a, like a, you look at it, put a puzzle together like 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 a chimp? No, he was just like he was like work monkey work. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm like it's like give me money. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's basically what it is. Yeah, because like no, of course, like I have insurance out there. Five hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm and then like, this will be another like they just then I'll be better. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe <laughs> squeeze you like a fucking old toothpaste tube. Don't mm-hmm. money's out of your fucking pocket. Right. And it worked, because here I am, still sick and <laughs> poor. They can um, never cure you, because then you're fucking, then it dries up. There's no there, There's no money in the cure. Money's all in treatment. Uh, but I, um, I took a blood test, and I also took, um, it was like a, a, like a 25, 30 page, uh, written exam, and some other stuff, and, uh, he he said. I mean, he said you really fit the. What was it? What were some of the uh, questions? Uh, I don't really remember. They were like real general stuff. A lot of them. I could look it up real fast, like um, like an average ADD test. Um, but I found that uh, once I started taking the medication, like he started me off low, and then built it up. Um, it it uh, 
really does work. Like the, do you, when did you when did you when do you think you started to show the signs of that? Or did you I think when I was in school. I, I think when, as soon as I went to school. Like as soon as you got pubes? Yeah, as soon as my pubes popped out, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> No, I think like when I was in um, elementary school, you know, like where they just, uh, <laughs> like, here, take this pill. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm better now. <laughs> Do this puzzle, monkey. Um, when I was in school, like in elementary school, I'd get in trouble all the time. And I think it was uh, like boredom. Like I got bored very quick. Like it's very hard to keep my attention uh the medicine helps that but i guess back then like they didn't like add was just like you were bad you know you were just misbehaved and they did have they did have uh, ritalin i don't recall you being uh, getting in trouble though in in grammar school i got in trouble i mean no not not like not like high school i didn't get in trouble i got more more trouble in high school than i did in grammar school but it was mostly like not paying attention and shit like even in kindergarten i remember um my uh my mom, I don't know. Did I talk about this already? Sometimes I feel like I repeat shit that I've said. Um, Pam said that uh, she's going up to the kindergarten to talk to the teacher for parent-teacher conferences. And she said, if you're good, I'm going to bring you back a Matchbox truck. I'll go to Franklin's, and which was a five and dime at the time in Atlantic Highlands, and uh, get you a Matchbox car. So I was positive that I was good. There was no doubt. And when she came back, she has no Matchbox car. And that's what happened. She said that, um, she said the Mrs., her name was Miss, uh, Buterla, her name was. Miss Buterla says that you talk a lot in class and if she corrects you, you just laugh at her. And, um, she was like, you can't do that. Hmm. And, uh, I guess it continued, but like I think of things through, through school, you know, and through life that, that I, that I was never, like, I never complete anything. I move on this shit before I'm done with one thing, move on to something else, you know? Hard to, like, maintain focus, all that shit. Like, mm-hmm. that was always in school. But how do you, you gotta like, be prepared to do that Space Monkey solo? Mm-hmm. No, the Manchester, I'm like, whoa, what's this? And <laughs> <laughs> uh, next thing you know, I'm late. But I've seen you, um, buckle down and, and, and focus. Mm-hmm. So how do they explain that? You've written scripts when yeah. you got in mega shape. Um, you wrote, yeah. You know what? I think that exercise helps a lot. Yeah. Um, like I found when I used to be able to run, like if I ran, like I would think of stuff and focus and that mm-hmm. kind of shit. I think diet probably has a lot to do with it, you know. Uh, ever since I started to, it seems like it doesn't work as well as it used to now. Yeah. Um, but, but it's also so fucking hard to get. The, uh, like I, I was late today because doctor gives me a prescription. It was seven different pharmacies I had to try before they eventually had it. Holy and fuck. I asked the one lady at, uh, where was she? Walgreens. I said, what is going on? She said, they're just not making enough. There's that many people out there with your, with what you have. I don't know. Like, I mean, I, it's one of those things where it's like, I hate to fall into like, um, the fucking sexy diagnosis of the, uh, you know, it's like now, now anytime, oh, wait, anytime oh, an actor wait, wait or actress, mean? well, the trendy, is sexy? yeah, you don't think so? I'm <laughs> turning you on, like that piece of fruit. I mean, like the, 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 the trendy, like, um, sort of like, here's the, uh, the, 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 the malady of the moment where it's like, uh, every time you turn around now, anytime some fucking actress or actor does something stupid, it's like, oh, I'm bipolar. That's why I do, I do these things. Wait, wait, who, who are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? Who are about? you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Like actors and actresses now. It's like every time, like, you know, Britney Spears or Catherine Zeta-Jones most recently. Really? You know, like, yeah, they, yeah, they're just, so I don't you're, know. You're, you're putting yourself up there with the... Uh, no, I'm saying <laughs> that, like, no. I mean, why not? You know what? Fuck you. Yeah. I, I, I'm not letting you keep me down anymore. Uh, right. uh, 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 <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Keep me down. No, no, no. I'm just saying the actual like malady. Okay. Is um like right now with actors and actresses like every, it seems every time somebody if you were does up something, on their level, you would have no hard time finding it. A, a, a fucking. They wouldn't be turning you to seven different drugstores. They'd give it to you if you're Britney Spears. They say that they they have um, kids like college students um because they want the Adderall like they want the medication because it's. A stimulant, and like you can stay awake all night and study and shit like that. And it does help you focus. Um, somebody asked me for some. They were in college and asked me if they could have some of mine, and I was afraid. I didn't give it to them because I was afraid like they're going to take them, and if something happened to them, I'm like, yeah, it's good. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Good choice. Mm-hmm. 
let's see. At home, you can answer these, Walt. We'll see if you have it, maybe. At home, work, or school, I find my, mon- my mind wandering from tasks that are uninteresting or difficult. Not at all, just a little, somewhat, moderately, quite a lot, very much. What would be a difficult task, though? Uh, let's say a difficult task, task is um, you Clean have... dog shit? Uh, in the backyard? It's not difficult. I got to do that all the time, too. I fucking can't stand that, man. It smells so nasty. What is with flies? Like, you have fucking 24 hours. You're a fly. You have 24 hours to live. You spend all your time on a fucking <laughs> piece of dog shit, flying around, buzzing around dog shit, and the rest of the time, people are trying to kill you. Like, yeah. don't they live 24 hours a house fly? Yeah, I don't think it's a very good life. So, Right, so like if somebody well, was like, you have 24 it's hours to live, like, would you jump on a piece of dog shit and it's fucking easy, hang out? It's easy to find dog shit. It's harder to find caviar to land on. Uh, well, you don't get them. Um, maybe not necessarily caviar, but you would buzz on down to Bora McDonald's. Bora and fucking hang out on <laughs> shit, dude. I think they just programmed to fly around. Exactly. That's just what they do? Yeah. What would be a difficult test? I want to see if I do get Like if I had to like like painting, like I can't stand to paint. Like paint the, paint the yeah, I don't know if they mean difficult, like, like you're doing yeah. equations, or difficult, like, I don't... It seems more like, yeah, like that, like... That, to me, is a very boring thing. Like, we painted our mm-hmm. we painted our bathroom, and I was just like, I did it for, like, a half hour. I was like, I'm done. This is boring. Right. I might have it, dude. All right. Give me some of that, eat, uh, some you want that Adderall. Some? We'll give you some. I find it difficult to read written material unless it is very interesting or very easy. I, yeah, I, it's, I have that. Especially in groups, I find it hard to stay focused on what is said in conversations. I don't. I just don't care. Mm-hmm. I have it. I have a quick temper, a short fuse. Yes. I am irritable and get upset by minor annoyances. Yes. I say things without thinking and then later regret having said them. I ask you to cut a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I make quick decisions without thinking enough about their possible bad results. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm an expert at that. No, no you I, agonize I, over that shit. Yeah. Uh... My moods have highs and lows. No. I have trouble planning in what order to do a series of tasks or activities. No. I easily become upset. I seem to be thin-skinned and many things upset me. Mm-hmm. That, that's a little online test. That It was like this was not really – I don't remember uh, – exactly what questions are on it. But I think this is like one of those things where it's like if it seems you have – a majority of these like look into it a little bit more right. and sometimes it manifests itself as depression because you get mad at yourself you think you're stupid and shit because you can't pay attention like i can't tell you how many times i started brookdale community college i go over there and I'd be like this is it this is the semester where i buckle down and i'm gonna fucking pay attention and i'm gonna be something and then i just end up fucking either not going or reading in the back of the i, I, I hate i just can't deal with it well, that's fucking. She looks a lot fancier than when she left here, doesn't yeah, what she? What happened? What the hell happened? I to buy a new dress. <laughs> and then where? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I thought my shorts were too short. Yeah, she's been crowing about her short shorts ever oh. since we left. Um. So, uh, yeah, that I can't remember why we started talking about it. Me neither. ADD. See, that's we it. We both got it, Walt. <laughs> Quinn, you should fucking feel bad for us. I still feel bad about the Staten Island Adidas. Muscle worship. That's a philia. Oh. Obscene phone calls. Making or receiving? Making. Hmm. Suzanne, we figured out that you have teratophilia, an attraction to deformed or monstrous people. (laughs) Vampirism. What's that? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, I think you might have ADD, uh, bro. The, I, the, the idea of, do you still take you? This, this, he's a fucking embarrassed. He's not one of my brothers mm, over here. He, he, he takes uh, I haven't taken it in years. I oh, haven't taken it in a while? No, years. Oh. Yeah. You fucking stopped taking like it. Didn't tell me. What are we on? Uh-huh. Same, the same thing. Same thing. Yeah. So, so you have to go to what kind of doctor to get that? Uh, it was a regular doctor. Uh, I think it has to be, yeah, I got mine from a regular doctor now, but like when I originally got it, it was from a psychiatrist. You go to a psychiatrist, do they tell you, like you tell them you got a problem, right? Mm -hmm. This is what I'm feeling right now. Do they tell you what to do? Like, this is how I would solve that problem, or do they just absolutely just listen? Well, the psychiatrist was, um, he was only for medication. 
Oh, he didn't want I had to, to go to a psychologist and psychiatrist. Psychiatrist was only medication. And uh, sometimes I would tell him what was wrong, you know, but it it wasn't really his thing. That's not really what he does. He's more like... Let's say you had a problem with your sister. It's a wonderfully random example, but go on. <laughs> uh, hold on, our Irish people are calling. Hold on just one second. I'm sorry, what were you saying there? Oh, your psychiatrist. This this does... Like, you tell him the problem. Mm-hmm. Does he say like, well, this is a, this is a way we could solve it? Uh, I would say that would be more of the psychologist route, and no. no, I found that was not with. I mean, there's a couple different types of approaches where, like, I think very few of them, very few uh, psychologists will tell you like, hey, here's what you should do. I think they try to like let you talk through it and let you figure it out and shit. Well, if you say something like, well, I'm thinking about doing this, and they're like, no, I wouldn't do that. Um, like, uh, I'm thinking about killing myself or I'm thinking about like, uh, no, running about, for president. I'm thinking about going down there and to, like, um, throwing, uh, throwing a bottle through that window just to, oh, cause I'm mad at, yeah. I'm, yeah, stash rip me off. I want to throw a <laughs> bottle at the window. Um, I, I think that she, the lady that I had would probably say like, well, why, do you need to do that? You know, like I'm there, mad. there's another way. Yeah, I mean it's hard because I was never that unreasonable, so it's hard to say. It's hard <laughs> to say what she what that's she a, would think. Like, that's how a lot of people were last year. Yeah, but that's like passing. Like I, I mean, I'm I would I would have that feeling of like I want to throw a bottle through somebody's window. But just in time, I would calm down. Like if two days later, I'm still like I'm gonna fucking whip a bottle. Like that's that's indicative of like a more serious problem. I think I, you know you'd be. But be she's in. not willing to come out and just be like, nope, that's not what we should do. Uh, no, she ha- she said that she had said things to me in the past, like where I I, I would say things and 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 get all worked up, and she would be like, Brian, stop. Like you're not gonna do that, you know. So she um. There were times when she said that, but I think for the most part, they're just sort of tr- there to help you realize things. And uh, it's funny, Pam has said in the past that she thinks that she planted things in my mind. Like I remember things that didn't happen when I was young, <laughs> and uh, and the uh, the sh- the psychologist that I had out there in L.A. Uh, was planting memories and stuff. You know, rather than like, well, no, that did really you know, did happen. Did you, did you get hypnotized? Oh, yeah, you couldn't. No, you already know you can't be hypnotized. So yeah, you never did go under any kind of like. No, nah, that wasn't her thing either. Her 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 office wasn't on a boardwalk. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it was like, don't do that. I thought they did um, shit all the time. I think some people. I don't know about uh, maybe in extreme examples, right? Well, well there again, it's like. Every time I see a psych- psychiatrist on TV, they're hypnotizing somebody. Let's go back in. Mm-hmm. You're ten years old. Right. You know, you see this. What's going on? Tell me what you're seeing. You think that's possible? Sure. Yeah. Do you think they dredge up false memories? Though a lot of people say that that you know oh, they, yeah. they pull believe, shit up. Like you can't believe what the memories are, but mm-hmm. I think of that. I know they use hypnotism for like addictions, like cigarettes and weight and stuff like that. You know, it works. No, yeah, I mean we'd have to ask somebody who, who actually tried it. Anybody yeah, if you there? tried it and you were successful and. Give us a fucking shout. Let us know. I say that for overkill, though. I'll get hypnotized. Yeah. yeah you can't be we should hypnotized. Do. How come? We already tried it with man love. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> well. ADD. Yeah. Like, who's man love? Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> um, being in life-threatening situations. I don't even know how to pronounce that one. Autosassinophilia. What kind of philia do you have, Suzanne? What turns you on? No, I didn't say. She's afraid of bees. It's annoying. Like you try to have a picnic and like she sees a fly, thinks it's a bee, and is like running out all over the place, knocking shit over. Knocking over, ironically, a a bee's hive. Mm Mm-hmm. She knocked over my honey pot that I brought. Statue's mannequin immobility. Wait, what the hell's going on here? Um. Oh, Walt. This is what Walt has. What? Oda. Gonestophilia, being on stage. Yeah. Ah. You don't like it, Walt. You're good, though. Ooh, you're good. You're good. Squashing Um. animals. (laughs) Squashing animals. Yeah, I don't know who gets off on that kind of shit. Um, Actually, the whole reason I was the the offensive thing, I was wondering if you saw this, either of you guys. Um, 
I think it was Nivea. There was a controversy around Nivea. Oh, I saw you uh, put this on Twitter. People seem to be split with this controversy, whether or not this is worth complaining about. Uh, I guess you didn't see it, Walt. Yeah. This is um, is Nivea racist. Nivea is water, right? Nivea is it's, uh, a company that makes like uh, face products, skin, oh, okay. skincare type stuff, right? I thought it was yeah. like a health water or something. Okay, so what happened, Walt, was Nivea had, um, not even them, I guess they have some sort of ad agency, right? Um, come up with a promotion or whatever, advertising campaign. And it's a picture of a black dude throwing a head. And it says, re-civilize yourself. And the head has, like, uh, facial hair on it and a big afro. And the guy throwing it, the black dude throwing it, is, like, clean-shaven, looking good, looking like a male model and shit. Here's the, here's the picture. Okay. Oh, I'm not sure what to get offended. I'm not sure. No, it's just a print ad. I'm not sure what to get offended at anymore, so I'm trying to figure out if I need to be mad about this. Uh, I'm fucking, now I see what they're saying. I'm a black guy, Quinn, soon. I know. I want to figure out my exact blackness. It seems... I think that's a stretch to call it racist. What is What is it, though? Because I, I know what I thought it was that people were mad at at first, and then it turned out I was wrong. I don't know what anybody would be upset about. I, I think you kind of reach him by getting upset at this. Because the afro and the, and the beard, they're saying, like... I thought it was re-civilize yourself, um, civilization, like, he's like a, like a, um, like a savage, like a native who decapitated somebody and he's throwing his head. That's what you're getting out of that? Well, no, that's what, at first, when I first looked at it, cause I didn't know what it was for. And then I think, I'm, I think they're saying that like having an afro is uncivilized, having all that facial hair is uncivilized, right? <sighs> yeah, I see what they're saying, but. I, I mean, I'm sure there's an uh, there's a ad out there with a white guy with long hair and a beard, right? Well, that's what I said. If it were, you know, it's it's hard because black people have different sensitivity as far as like sure. shit being thrown their way. Um, so if I were to say like, uh, okay, that ad is a white guy throwing his head and he has like a long beard, it looks like, like Jesus head, shit. right? Like I, it wouldn't occur to me to get upset about it. I tell you, if you I just wanna, don't get mad. Like, if you want to be safe, you're, you're creating a controversial ad. Just target middle-aged white guys because it's target fucking me. open season. You mm-hmm. can do whatever you want, right. and it won't matter. That's right. where you're going to be safe. Just go with a middle-aged white guy. Right? Because if it were, if if it were me, I would not have. It, like I said, if it was that face don't. or like a white guy throwing like a Cro Magnon head or something, right? right? You would have been okay with that. But yeah. they even say in the in the in the same thing here. It says, "Look like you give a damn." Which is the saying, cut your hair and shave, which is what everybody has said about a job interview since so the beginning if it was, of time. So if it was a, a, a businessman throwing his hippie head, like he had little hippie it's sunglasses It's the same on. exact thing. It's the same thing. Same exact thing. Like, I, I just, I, I, I wonder though, like... Like, I mean, is racism, I guess, what... You can't say anything? I, I guess their definition of racism is like how something is taken, not how it's intended. Mm-hmm. Which is to me like, which to me is like, well, then anything can be racist then. Sure. Because if you're saying, look, look, it doesn't matter what you say or how you say it, it's how someone takes it that defines it, whether it's racist or not, then literally anything can be racist because it's just well, what so they decide to take it. I think it sells black people short where it's like, so they have absolutely no sense of humor at all. Where it's like, but this isn't even funny. This is humor. It's, it, it's not funny. It's it's dopey. But at the same time, it's like, are we all gonna now fucking argue that um, somebody with a wild afro looks as neat as a person with a short trimmed hair? Are you gonna argue that I look as neat as somebody with who's clean shaven with a with a businessman haircut? Right. The military is not letting this guy run around with an afro. No, for a reason. Right. Because it doesn't look as neat. It as doesn't look neat. And it's like the word civilize. I think that's what it all comes down to. Right. If that said reinvent yourself, nobody gets mad. I don't know. I mean, it would be fucked up if it was a white guy, but if for some reason the head was black. and, <laughs> and That'd be afro. awesome, yeah. <laughs> mm. Then I'd be like, well, that shit's racist. But you know what? I mean, the thing is, and I, and I if if... 
Okay, here you go. Well, it says, the message there seems to be that white men are already civilized. They just don't look like it. What do you mean? Why? But black... I don't know. Oh, I think they're talking about two different ads here. But black men, according to Nivea's brand messaging, are inherently uncivilized and can only become civilized if they forsake what comes out of their hair follicles naturally. But that's not true. That's like saying... Right, my that's hair bullshit. Small. Yeah, it's like my hair would be down to my fucking ass if I didn't get it cut. So right. that's saying, like, it's like, no, they're saying get a pair of scissors, trim it up, and you're going to look neater than you would otherwise. Nobody gives a fuck if you have an afro. That's what they meant for Tell sure. Tell them, Steve, Dave.